Welcome to the Office 365 update for April of 2018. In the next few minutes, I'll be giving you a quick rundown of the latest Office 365 updates with the goal of helping you get the most out of the service. Microsoft Teams is a chat-based workspace in Office 365 that brings together people, conversations, content, and apps that enable teams to collaborate more effectively. Sometimes, those team members you want to collaborate with are outside the organization. That's why Microsoft recently added the ability to add anyone as a guest in Microsoft Teams. I know some of the team's power users watching this might be thinking, I've been able to add guests for a while now. That's true, but up until now, guests had to have an Azure Active Directory account. That's no longer the case. Now, anyone with a business or consumer email account, such as Outlook.com, Gmail, iCloud, and others, can participate in Microsoft Teams as a guest with access to team chats, meetings, and files. In addition, all guests are covered by the same compliance and auditing protection as the rest of Office 365. To add a guest to a team, select Add Members in the menu next to the team name. Then add the guest's email address. The invitee will receive a welcome email message with information about the team and what to expect now that they're a member. Note that guests will still need to have a Microsoft account associated with their email to participate. If the guest doesn't have a Microsoft account associated with their email address, they will be directed to create one for free. Teams that include guests will be identified with text and icons throughout the Teams user interface to give all team members a clear indication that there are guests in that team. For additional details, including a video on how to enable guest access in Microsoft Teams, follow the link I provide in the transcript and resources document posted on the Office 365 Guide blog. Here at Microsoft, we have, shall we say, an abundance of SharePoint sites. And I suspect and hope your organization does as well. Our corporate intranet runs on SharePoint, and we have team sites, departmental sites, document libraries, project management,